Hey guys, SJ here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full face of Ulta Cosmetics. If you would like to see how I achieve this look and what I think about these products, because this will be the first time that I've used them, please go ahead and stay tuned. So I went into Ulta Cosmetics, you know, just sort of walking around, checking out what they've got going on, and I saw that there was like a new chubby lip and cheek product, and then there was a foundation that caught my eye, and I thought, oh, okay, you know. I'll go ahead and try these out. Well, I also found out that if you spent $19.50 on any Ulta cosmetic, you would get a 15-piece kit for free. So I picked out the purple one. You got you had your choice of like pink and purple. And inside was a 15-piece cosmetic set. Now I haven't tried the Ulta cosmetic brand before, and I thought, eh, you know what? Why not? I'm here. I got it for free. Can't beat it. It was $14 for my foundation that I picked up and $10 for the lip and cheek chubby. So there will be some products that I'm using that obviously are not Ulta because I haven't picked them up. My primer is not Ulta, my concealer is not Ulta, and my setting spray is not Ulta. But everything else that I'm going to be using today is Ulta brand cosmetics. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to use is my Maybelline Master Plus Control Primer. So I'm going to go ahead and prime the skin and get that already. I'm already cleansed, I'm already moisturized as far as my face goes, so we'll just go ahead and get this underway. I really love this stuff. If you guys have been watching, I've been using this a lot lately, and it really does, after it sits for a minute, it really does help control the redness. Of course, you know, I put a color canceling concealer over the top of it, but and the bags under my or the darkness under my eyes hasn't been as bad lately, so I'm not going to put anything under there. But I am going to go in with a green concealer and just put that around my nose and just sort of cancel out a little more of the redness. And for that, I'm picking up my Wet n Wild Coverall Correcting Palette. I, if you're watching, you know I've fallen in love with this as well. I mean, it really is a kick butt concealer palette, and it, you know, $4.99, so. Nothing to sneeze at. So now we're going to go ahead and dig into the foundation. I picked up the Ulta Demi Matte Foundation. It has broad spectrum SPF 20, oil free, fragrance free, paraben free. And of course the heater is about to kick on. What? Anyway, this says it is a lightweight cream gel formula which absorbs oil and prevents shine. Light diffusing pigments help to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And I picked this up in cream. Um, they're options were pretty much sold out. It looks like, a, I mean, at least from what I saw because of how bare the display was, a lot of ladies have grabbed this. I love this. Let's talk about this. I love this right here. I love the fact that it's a tube and it's squeezable. Love the fact that there's a pump on it. Oh, can't go wrong. I'm going to go ahead and apply this with my e.l.f. small stippling brush, which is usually what I apply my foundation with. It's not... Yeah, it, it's not runny at all, so I'm just going to sort of bounce that, and there goes the heater. It's, it's right next to me on the floor. Now, I don't know if this is a good match for my skin, because um, obviously you can't try it, but I figured cream was the closest, because the next color down looked pretty, pretty dark. Okay, so here it is with just one layer of the foundation on. I didn't want to go and do two layers. It kind of feels a little bit heavy. Um, it is a good match, but it's not as, like, with this lighting, it looks a lot lighter, and I feel like there's kind of like a white cast to it, but overall, not bad. It is a demi-matte foundation, as I mentioned before, so um, it doesn't feel sticky. It does kind of feel a little wet, though. So I think I'm going to have to wait and let it dry just a tiny bit. So I will be back in a second after it's sat on my face for about five minutes. And we'll go ahead and continue. Okay, I'm back. It's gone ahead and sat on my face for about five minutes. It now feels nice and dry. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky. I'm going to go ahead and move in with my Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer. And go ahead and just conceal under my eyes and around my nose and my mouth. And as you all know, this is my favorite concealer. 
And to apply the concealer, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. I am using this Ulta Eyeshadow Quad that came in it. It came, the kit came with three, or the little cosmetic bag came with three um, eyeshadow quads. This one is the greens and the coppers. This color right here is Sunrise. No, sorry. <laughs> this color here is Sunrise. This is Sage. This is Copper Bronze. And this is Khaki. So I'm going to be using these, but I'm also going to be using the color pure eyeshadow pigment in yolo and it's just this really pretty iridescent color just for a little bit of highlight i'm going to take my elf eyeshadow c brush and i am going to apply the matte which is the sunrise all over the lid um powdery a little bit of fallout but not much fallout on the actual eye so that's nice now I'm having kind of a hard time deciding whether I want to use the copper or the shimmer green so I'm gonna swatch it really quick that's the green right there which isn't bad I mean it really isn't and then the copper is not as pigmented as I thought it would be that's the copper right there I'm gonna go with the green go with the green and for this, I'm going to use my e.l.f. contour brush to apply it. And I'm just going to do the outer corner of my eye. And there is not a lot of color payoff with that. I'm going to jump in with my Real Techniques um, eye or base shadow brush and see if that's going to make a difference. Nope. No difference at all. Oh, that's a disappointment. Oh god, this is this is not working out how I wanted it to, and I'm very depressed. The yeah, there's like no color payoff. You're really gonna have to work to get any sort of payoff on this one. I'm gonna go in with the color. What color is this one? This is the khaki, which is this matte brown right here, and just sort of trying to find the crease. Okay, there's definitely color on that. Of course. Okay, so this is what we're stuck with. <laughs> it's not exactly what I was looking for, but I won't complain. Oh, yes, I will. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the YOLO, which is the color pigment. And I'm just going to try and brighten up the inner corners of the eyes. And I'm taking the e.l.f. small angle brush to do this. That's a good pigment. Yeah, I like that. Looks good. Now we're going to move on to a little bit of contouring. Woo! This is the Contouring and Blush Duo, and this is the blush color of Splendor, and that's just the bronzer. I'm going to be using my Mineral Powder Brush by e.l.f. and just applying some bronzer just for a little bit of contour because I'm looking like hella pale with this lighting, but, you know. Well, hello! At least we know the bronzer's got pigment. Now I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. small stipple brush and just blend the crap out of this. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, before I do my eyeliner and my mascara, I'm actually going to do my eyebrows. This is the Ulta Eyebrow Trio, and it comes with a wax and two different colors of powder. You got the taupe and more of the brown. I'm going to do the darker brown today. And to apply this, I'm going to use the same small angled e.l.f. brush. I like this powder. It's nice. There's no fallout. Okay, eyebrows are done. They're clown brows. They hate me today, and I hate them back. 
Now we're gonna move on to eyeliner. They, this little kit came with a dual ended eyeliner. One end is black and the other end is a deep brown. I'm gonna use the deep brown for this particular look. Oh, that sucks. Okay, going on to the black. Not very pigmented at all. So I had to stop the video for a second because I needed both hands to apply this. You want to know what I think of this eyeliner? That's what I think of that eyeliner. It is so hard. It, it, I can't even. I, I just... Moving on, we're moving on to lashes. This is the Elta Amped Up Lash or Amped Lashes Volume and Defining Mascara. Let's hope this turns out better than the eyeliner. And before we get started, okay, I don't know if this has happened to anybody before. This has never happened to me. I was curling my eyelashes and I cut my eyelashes right here. Like, I cannot even tell you how depressed I am. Oh, I got a gap. You'll see. I like the mascara. <laughs> My little cut lashes is so sad. Me, me. I do like this. The, the brush is very, very flexible. I'm digging that. Yeah, the mascara is not bad. Digging the mascara. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the cheeks. This is the Ulta Lip and Cheek Color Stick and this is in the color Peachy. It's gonna go right there right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my eco tools complexion blending brush and just do that I like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that same lip and cheek stain or lip and cheek chubby and apply it to my lips Okay guys, there you have it. This is my full face Ulta Cosmetics look. I like the way it looks. I actually really do. I think it looks really, really good. I'm loving the foundation. I'm loving, the, I'm, I think my favorite thing out of this whole thing is the lip and cheek chubby out of the whole look. But that being said, the Demi Matte Foundation, I do like it. This is just one layer. You can build it up. For me personally, it would just be sort of like a one layer foundation thing. Um, really like the eyebrow trio. I did not put the wax on it, of course, but yeah. So please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's new videos Mondays and Fridays. Be kind to one another, love one another, and remember, tell the ones you love that you love them, and don't forget to love yourself.